Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Hey, just wanted to remind you guys, don't forget to uh, drop a like and subscribe if you guys have been enjoying the videos. It really does make a huge difference. So, yeah, you definitely do that if you've been enjoying what we're doing here. Uh, appreciate it when you guys do that. It makes a massive difference for views and well, all that fun stuff that manages to happen here on the channel. But anyways, we're over in, uh, well, we're in Nebraska today, as you can tell. And I'm trying to work on this silage pit, guys. This thing was packed, and I think uh, we might have got a little bit of wet chaff because she's... Uh, she was sucking in that 5 Series. We have the 5 Series John Deere that I've been using for our pigs. And uh, I brought it over to try to pack this stuff down. And, guys, it just was not working. I kept on getting stuck. I was getting stuck left, right, and center. Uh, I had to pull it out with this front end loader more than once. It was such a pain. This front end loader has actually been invaluable for, well, I mean, not only, of course, uh, moving equipment around here, but maybe burying people's trucks and uh, pulling equipment that we need out of pits as well. So it's been actually really good to have. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about there, do I? Anyways, uh, things are going pretty good here. We're going to get this done today. We're going to get this, this pack down. I want to get this tarp right away here. And then uh, right after that, I'm heading across. We've got, well, our beet field, our sugar beets, they are ready to be harvested. I want to get in the field. We're getting late fall. Late fall, we've got to get this done. I got that, and I got a big field right here. And then I think I've got one more field that uh, we kind of leased down by Jake's farm. So that's really what needs to happen out here in Nebraska today, guys. Uh, let's see if I can get this pit done though right away. We're almost packed enough. I think I can probably throw the uh, throw the tarp on her and be done with it pretty quick. To now I've got one spot up here that's kind of sticking up, but that's okay. It's, it's compacted enough, I'm sure. Anyways, let me uh, finish off packing this up. We'll throw the tarp on and uh, we'll get into the field, guys. We got lots of work to do today. All right, let's do this thing. Pit or batter. Clutch simulations. All right, we got our sugar beet harvester ready to go over here. It's been uh, sitting here actually for a little bit. We got the rest of the equipment. We have the harvester and stuff uh, from this massive cornfield, as well. Of course, the uh, the quad track. I was thinking about using the quad track for, uh, for uh, to flatten out that that bunker. Would that be over? Would that be overkill? Do you, do you guys think that would be overkill to use a quad track in a bunker that size? <laughs> I don't think I could even like maneuver it at all. It'd be too wide. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I've got everything, but I'm missing one key thing. I'm missing a bin. Now, I was going to go check with Austin and see if he's got anything. We might go for a quick drive down there and check things out. Um, speaking of which, guys, you know what? My truck got stolen. I don't know. I might have to go talk with Grant about that. But um, we came back, and uh, the Ford, that hail-damaged Ford I had, is gone. I don't know where the heck it went. I, it, she's gone. Um, we had to uh, call insurance. Got the insurance taken care of on that. And I've already got some brand new wheels because, well, we need a truck, of course, around here. You guys are going to like this. Let me just squeeze on through. Uh, they gave me a sweet, sweet deal on a 2020 Ford F-350. This is actually a Lariat as well, so it's a full load. I mean, it's not a King Ranch. It's just a Lariat. We got the uh, silver on white, the, what is it, silver ignite on white trim. Looks pretty good. I had them uh, throw a couple upgrades on this. Of course, you can see we've got some 32s on here. Nice set of wheels. Look at the mudders on this thing. You got to have the mud tires on Nebraska, guys. You got to have some big mud tires because she gets mucky out here. Uh, I got a toolbox in the back as well, of course. Now, I thought, well, of course, we got a rear hitch, but in the back, uh, you can see here we've got a gooseneck. I thought maybe putting a fifth wheel hitch in as well. But you know what? You got to have a gooseneck on a, on a farm truck, right? Of course you do. And then uh, we got some step sides, nice foldable step sides there. Those are look good. I like how the mirrors. The mirrors on this one? Oh, they don't. I thought they did. Maybe that's the King Ranch they wrap in on. And then, of course, we've got a brush bar up front with a winch down below. Uh, the one thing that I, I'm not a huge fan of on the Super Duties is this rear window. Like, look at how big. Let me jump in the back. Ah. Look how big this rear window is here with the uh, folding glass or the sliding glass in the middle here. I'm always worried that I'm going to break this window. And it's just, it's such a big window. It's going to be such a huge cost to replace that. Um, I kind of like the smaller little folds because if you break one pane, it's so easy to fix. But with these ones here, they're so big that you got to replace the whole thing, of course, if you break that. And I'm always throwing stuff in the back of my trucks. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to feel bad a little bit about uh, damaging this truck. All up. I'm pretty I'm pretty hard on my, tr my trucks, guys. But uh, you know what? We needed a new ride since we lost ours. <laughs> this is what we picked up. Pretty sweet ride. Anyways, let's jump on in. We'll go down to Austin's place, that new farm. See if he's in there. I know he's, he owes me a grain bin for all that work I did for him. Let's get this thing fired on up. And, of course, we went with a 6.7 diesel. Uh, you got to have a diesel, right? Well, no, no gas trucks on our farm. We're going diesel all the way. 
Oh, yes. Pretty nice ride. A big long box as well. All right. Let's uh, head down the road. Like I said, I haven't seen him down towards his side of the farm or that new farm he bought down here for a while. We better go down and check him out, see if anything's going on down there. It's been a while. We haven't been down this way for quite some time, guys, so we'll go uh, We'll go check that out, see if he's down there. I want to see if I can maybe... I don't know if that... Was it a... What kind of bin was it? I know we had some kind of a bin we could take. I just don't know if it's an auger bin. That's not going to work for our sugar beets, of course. Hold on. And look at the grass in here. What is going on with the grass? It's, everything looks like... I mean, I know it's fall, but everything looks like it's dead. Oh, wow. This has changed quite a bit since the last time we were here. Um, there's still the Quonset down the left there. There's not much else over here, though. Uh, I don't see his actual truck anywhere. I just see... Uh, he's not here, guys. Oh, darn it. I was really hoping he'd be here. I wanted to pick that, that, um, that bin off of him. That's too bad. Uh, let's go take a quick look in the Quonset. I think cause he's, that's where he was storing it, right? Let's go down this way and we'll take a look and see. Maybe he's left it there. We can just pick it up. Oh, stop there. Oh, look at this. Yeah, there we go. We got the steps come out. I love that. That's sweet. Um, what's he got in the Quonset here? Let's take a quick look, see. Oh, there's a bin. Oh, but it's an auger. That's not going to work for these sugar beets. Let's just going to dice them all up if we, if we use that. The tires on this bin. Holy. Um, yeah, that's, that's not going to do it for us, unfortunately, guys. This might come in handy for maybe uh, some wheat or something later on. I don't think I'm going to use that for the sugar beets. I need something that's going to be a gravity wagon. Okay. Um, let me make a phone call. We'll head to the shop. I'll see if they've got what they've got in stock there. And uh, maybe we can at least borrow some, lease something. I don't know. We'll do something. Perfect. So we managed to pick up some uh, some bins. And you know what? Really good deal for us. You know, the end of the season down here. So they're trying to get uh, a lot of equipment cleaned off the uh, off the lot here. So some J&M gravity bins were just sitting here. I've got them on lease just for now. We'll see. We might keep them for the year. Now, there is a minor issue, but okay, so there's two bins you can see here. Um, there's there's two more ahead of it too. I got four of these, so uh, we leased four of these bins. We we, end, we may end up keeping them, guys. I'm not sure yet. The one thing I don't really like about these particular ones is, well, we're running some kind of almost like dirt road duels. I was hoping to get some more field uh, field ready wheels, field uh, field ready tires. I don't know. I'm not sure if these are really going to give us that much traction out there. I mean, we're obviously not drive wheels, so it just needs to stay up on top of the mud. But we do tend to get quite a bit of mud out in our fields, and I'm a little worried that these are not going to be great. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get it out there. Hopefully it's okay. Um, we've got some big tractors we can tow these with if we need to. However, to get this back to the farm, um, I got the, Ford, the 350 with me. <laughs> I hope, I hope this 6.7 diesel is brand new. 6.7 diesel is broken in and up for us to tow all this. Um, I don't know what these would weigh. Like, what do these weigh each uh, empty? I should have asked him that when we bought these things. Does it say what the GVW is on these things? I don't see a weight on them anywhere. I'd be curious to see what the weights are. But, oh man, it'd be funny if we had a weight somewhere on here that I could see. That'd be, that'd be really convenient, wouldn't it? Yeah, no weights. Um, it's going to be a bit of a struggle, but you know what? Best driver in farm sim. I'm sure we can handle this. All right, let's get in the Ford. Let's fire this thing up. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a lot of weight. A um, little bit of a, a road train going on. It's slightly illegal, but you know what? We'll put our hazards on, and uh, I'm sure it'll be okay. Right? I'm sure it'll be okay. As long as no Officer Jakes are out here, we should be good. Let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we got lots of power. No problem. Wow, this Ford's not bad. It's got lots of power, guys. I got I got room to spare here. Let's get on the road. I'll put the hammer down. We'll see what we can get for speed out of this thing now. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> road train. Made it without a problem. Love it. All right, let's uh, leave this here for the time being. Uh, we got to unhooch this. Now, what do I want to use? The quad track? Or the 380. Both should handle this. I'm going to take the quad track today, I think. You know what? I, I wish we could use this J&M auger wagon. I wish that that would handle what I want to do with it. But I think we're going to be better off. And uh, I got something else to show you in a bit here. But let's get into the field. I'm going to disconnect this hitch. Get the quad track suited up. We're going to go jump into uh, our harvester and get to work on that. I do got to make a run back into town. I got to find uh, another part-time worker to give us a hand today. 
get him maybe to drive this thing around, do the harvesting, and I'll maybe do the uh, the bins. But we'll get fired up, and maybe I'll take a trip into town here uh, before lunch and find somebody to give me a hand with this. Quad tracks fired up. I mean, I know this is overkill, guys, just a little bit. Uh, but I'm just... We got stuck with the 380 last time with that bin. This is going to be slightly more weight with these, especially when we're going to pull the sugar beets. Um, I'm not sure what kind of shape this field's in as far as wetness goes. It, it's just the amount of rain we got here this summer. I'm just a little bit nervous, of course. Uh, we were able to plow this field up pretty good, though. It actually went pretty good with that uh, that Landall. I wonder if the 380 will be able to handle that later on. We'll see. Anyways, the uh, the homer here is uh, activated as well. Let's jump on in and uh, let's get into the field. Let's see how this is going to run out. Boom. Nice. All right. Can we get across the road here? Anyone coming? I we're okay. I think we're okay. All right. We're going to take up a little bit of space here for a bit. Hey, we drove into my fields. Who was that? Jerks. <laughs> All right. Get a little bit closer here. We'll just park on here for a sec while this thing gets unfolded. And away we go. Uh, uh, that's drop, that's drop. I think we should be good. All right, let's just pull ahead a little bit here. Make sure this thing, this uh, head's working perfectly. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good, guys. I think we're going to be okay there. Let's get in here before we get tagged by some traffic. I don't trust the traffic here in Nebraska. They're a little bit, uh, a little eager. Oh, man. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> sugar beets inbound. Nice. Awesome, guys. Well, this is definitely going to take some time. I mean, sugar beets are such a slow process. This is going to be our day. This field is going to be our day. Um, I hope that radio works. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a little bit here. I thought a head was a little bit bigger than this. That's the only thing. I wish, wish you could get a bigger head for these. Just, it's, I mean, this is the biggest one we can get, I think. And it doesn't seem like it's that big. I think we're only about 2.4 meters, maybe 3 meters, somewhere in that range. They're just not that big. Oh, yeah. So we'll be collecting a ton of these. Uh, I have no idea how many bushels this thing holds off the top of my head. It's going to be interesting to see what that does. Same with, uh, I mean, we've got four of the uh, the gravity wagons we can fill up at least. So that's that's going to be helpful. We won't have to make too many trips back. But we do have a new bunker i got to show you there as well. We had that built when we were gone. I think one of the construction workers stole my truck. Well, that's what happened. Anyways, I'm missing my truck, so... It don't matter anymore. We got a brand new one. Let's up here, Pick this up, and forward we go again. Come on! Oh man, I do like how this one works, where it picks up everything right off the head. Um, I know some of the other ones they have a pickup that's kind of underneath the the, uh, the unit itself, and you end up missing them quite a bit. I find this one here seems like it picks them up pretty quickly. All right, we'll see if we can get a headland done. Once we get that wrapped up, that's probably going to be... Oh, that'll be more than uh, one dump from us, I believe. So we'll uh, maybe get that over to the uh, the uh, storage area. It's not really a silo. Well, it is a silo, but it's not. And uh, we'll dump that off. I'll show you what we got going on there. And then I'm going to make a run into town and see if we can get someone to, uh, to man this for us. And from there, we should be able to, well, get a lot of so soybeans. A lot of sugar beets, guys. Oh yeah, this is going to take some time. Almost got one whole headland done right now, and we're sitting at uh, 93%. We're almost getting back to uh, where we got our equipment parked, which is perfect. I was worried I was going to have to kind of drive back out of the field to get to the uh, the bins, but I can quickly just run across the road here once we're full. Get a whole of sugar beets back here. Um, once we get across this, once we get filled up, we're just going to run across, grab the, uh, the, the quad track, and I don't know... I have no idea how many bins. Is that going to be two bins full? I have no idea if it's two, one bin. I don't even know what we got in here. Um, yeah, we're almost full. There we go. Stop, stop, stop before we wreck everything here. Back this up a bit. I think I might have driven over a little bit. Oh, not too bad. Okay, we're good. All right, let's uh, we'll unfold this. We can shut this off for the time being. Give it a break for a sec. Perfect, that's there. Let's make a quick run across the road. Go grab that quad track. Got all our beacons and our hazards on, of course. Uh, it's a little sketchy. We're a little close to the road here. I was hoping we'd be one row in, but nothing we can do about that. All right, let's uh, just pull on up. And you know what? I've, I've got to go back into the other truck there, the uh, harvester there, and make sure we fire that thing up to get the uh, unload to work. 
Let's uh, pull this in. I'm going to go turn this on. And now we should be able to just pull on forward here. And we'll unload. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I shut down the case. I didn't even know that. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on. There she comes. There she comes. How much can we take into each individual one is going to be the question. Um, I'm curious about this. This is going to be a, quite a bit, I'm going to think. <laughs> uh, you know what? It looks pretty good right now. I think we'll only be maybe two bins. One and a half, maybe. Okay, that one's full. Okay, next bin. All right, guys. That's actually not bad. Is that going to be enough? I can leave this here, I think. This one looks like it's almost empty. Can I climb from inside? Oh, 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 almost fell into the bin. Oh, I can't see what it is. Is, it, is that empty now? Oh, I can't see anything. Get up on top here. Perfect, we're empty. Now that looks like almost two full bins. That's perfect. Cool, guys. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep on working on here. Uh, it's only 10.39. Maybe we'll work to lunch on our own. Let's try and save myself a little bit of labor. Oh, i got to quit shutting this thing off. Hit the keys. Um, and, uh, you know what? We'll see how far we get. If we can get down a little bit before we need some help, that's always nice, right? It'll save me a little bit of money. I don't mind driving this. We've got time today. Cool. Fire this up. Put her in gear. And off we go. Excellent. We should be back around... Uh, I bet you'll be right here again. Maybe up by this 50 sign. Um, uh, that's where we'll probably make it on our way back, I'm gonna guess. That's just my, my rough guess, of course, but... I think because we'll be on the inside. Anyways, still another lap to do. Let's pull back in here. One more lap done. This is going to take some time. Oh, yeah. You know what? This is funny. This is our smallest field, too. But it's still... The fields over in Nebraska are so big. They're so big. Um, all right. So let's see what we can do here. All right, there's no point in me uh, taking more than... Well, we're at 97, 98, 99... One hundy is going to be right here anyways. Stop her. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Come on. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's lift this up. We'll back on out. I'm just going to go drive over there. I thought we'd get a little bit further than this, but apparently, um, apparently not. That's okay. Not a big deal. We'll drive this one right on up. Open this down. Oh, I can't even see it with when it's full. That's crazy. Uh, I hope I'm close enough. Let's dump. Nice. All right, let's dump that in. Oh, there you go. You can see them all flying out the side. All right, that's all they got. Next bin. You know what? We're going to be full up on our bins, I think, after this, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to put any more in either of these. Um, I mean, the amount that went into that first bin was only, what, 10% of that bin. I don't even know. What is this being measured? It's me measured in tons. Okay, interesting. So 30 tons is what we fit into the harvester itself. That's all. That's a lot of sugar beads. So we've got 60 tons is what we'll have inside these four. Wow. Um, yeah, that's quite a bit. <laughs> that's quite a bit of sugar beads, guys. All right, let's go for the old dumperoo here. Um, we could fit a bit more in here. We're only at well, 69 tons. 69 tons? Um, yeah, we're, we've got enough. I think we've got enough. Almost oh, 70 tons of sugar beads. Oh. <laughs> uh, whoa. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Oh, best driver at Farm Sim. Just all over the road right now. Come on. <laughs> I hope they don't mind if I lease these gravity wagons and they get a bit damaged on the way. Oh, well. All right, guys. Let's uh, head over here. I've got another building to show you. Like I said, we had a new bunker. Not a bunker. A new silo. Is it a silo? Is it a bunker? I don't even know. Um, that was built for our, our root crop vegetables, basically. Since we didn't have anything beforehand. I'm going to sneak through this side here because you can kind of see it straight ahead of us there. So you guys may remember we had a small little work shed that was here originally. In fact, our, our main, uh, our old home trailer used to be sitting right kind of here. So we knocked that down and we put, well, this new building up. Let's go take a look inside here. I'm going to open the doors, open the doors here anyways. Um, I wanted a little bit of storage facility as well. I mean, we've got some racks here for storing various pieces of equipment, some pallets, whatever we want. We could put up on those racks, of course. And then our silo is over here. So this was one of the reasons why I'm hoping that these J&M gravity wagons are going to work. I can just kind of pull in, dump them in, and uh, be done with it. I don't really have... I don't want a big, obviously, because trying to back in with one of those larger trailers is going to be a huge pain. 
but uh, these J&M gravity wagons should work out, I think, um, as long as the best driver in Farmston can kind of come in here and spin through. That is going to be the tricky part. I'm hoping I can pull this off. <laughs> uh, anything up top? Did we get anything up top here? I don't think there's... Yeah, just some hoist and uh, nothing crazy up here yet. We'll see. But we've got lots of storage at least. And most importantly, guys, we've got all stuff for, for our root crops. Close that up. Let's uh, let's dump these in, shall we? No, I don't think they ever intended a quad track to be coming in here. I really don't think anyone ever intended that to happen. <laughs> oh no, it's so tight. Okay, we got through this part. There's no way the gravity wagons are coming through nicely, though. There's no way. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right, there we go. Um, it's not a good sign when I can see the back of the gravity wagon on one end. Uh, we'll have to do these one at a time, or maybe two at a time. I don't think I can fit these through. Darn it! <laughs> I didn't think that through. Um, yeah, so another problem I didn't even think about that I totally forgot about. Those uh, wagons only jump dump on the uh, left-hand side. I have to go in this way to dump them out. What am I thinking today? I need a coffee. Um, and I broke some stuff. <sighs> Guys... These aren't even really mine yet, and I'm breaking these wagons. Um, yeah, that's that's really not good for that front axle, I don't think. <laughs> um, look at both of them. I, I destroyed them both. Uh, I'm gonna see. Let's see if I can hook up and just drag one at a time in. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta quit breaking things. Um, that wasn't smart. That wasn't smart at all. All right, we'll take this one. Okay, let's see. Get them unhooked. Let's see if I can get this one in there. Come on. <laughs> no, it's, that axle's just jammed right up. It does not want to move. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's go. I can turn it in now. And just pull it in. Oh, I can't even get this into the shop, guys. There's no way. There's no way this thing's going to let me pull it into the shop. Come on. Get in there. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Hey, look at this. We got it in. All right. <laughs> Unhook. And yay, sugar beets. Yay. Uh, what a pain. <laughs> I totally broke. I broke it. I know. I broke it. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we're down to two. And then there were two. <laughs> oh, and it looks like a third one was damaged too. Um, I don't know what I did to this one, but it's still working for me. I'm going to need to use it because I don't have time to head back. Oopsies. Hey, what does this do? Light switch? Hey, we've got lights. Um, yeah, those are going to be problems. <laughs> we've got some dead soldiers out there. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. we we got repairs to do already. I broke that hydraulic on the, uh, the end dump last time. And today, I just destroyed some brand new J&M trailers. Fantastic. It's a good thing I didn't take Austin's. He wouldn't be happy with me, would he? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for us today. <laughs> I'm going to hire a worker to go take care of uh, the rest of the field there. I'm only going to have two gravity bins to work with for now, which really is unfortunate, but I don't have a choice. Anyways, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mismatch of a, uh, well, destruction episode. I think we should have known this was coming. I did not plan this out very well, did I? Anyways. Have a great day, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. You know the whole gist of it. And I will talk with you guys next time. This is Clutch from Nebraska and his damaged wagons. Over and out.